On April 12, 1971, at the Nairobi Hospital, Carl Fritz Paul Zimmerman finally succumbed to diabetes. Apart from a small advert in a Kenyan newspaper, few people took notice. Today, 50 years later, Zimmerman has all but been forgotten. But his name is still imprinted in a Nairobi suburb, Zimmerman Estate. Many Kenyans have always wondered how this estate acquired a German name. And here is the story. The land, on which Zimmerman Estate stands, was owned by this German settler who had built here the second largest taxidermy factory in the world. Taxidermy is the art of preparing and preserving the skins of animals and of stuffing and mounting them in lifelike form. By then, Kenya was a big importer of trophies and animals mounted for display by the rich and museums all over the world. Most of these can still be seen in various sports clubs and age-old Kenyan hotels. State House also displays some of the art from Zimmerman Limited, as the company was known. One of Zimmerman's last projects was mounting of Ahmed, the Marsabit elephant that had been protected by a presidential decree. The stuffed Ahmed stands at the National Museums of Kenya's Exhibition Gallery. Very little is known about Zimmerman, the man. But his story is weaved within the story of Kenya as the destination for big game hunters, men and women who made fortune in the wildlife industry as licensed poachers. But Zimmerman was not initially part of the game hunting dollar millionaires. He had arrived in Kenya as part of a zoology research team sent by a German university for a research project. But like many others, he not only fell in love with Kenya but returned in 1929 to found Zimmerman's Limited. Kenya was known worldwide for the millions of animals that roamed in the expansive plains and had attracted world-famous hunting safaris sponsored by the Smithsonian Institute. Among the biggest collectors remained former U.S. President, Theodore Ted Roosevelt. His escapades in Georgia, Carpety Plains and Congo are well documented in his book, African Trails. With all these demands for trophies, Zimmerman acquired land next to River Ruaraka where he also built a leather tanning factory. Zimmerman Limited fed the insatiable appetite of princesses, kings, queens, presidents and museums. It was one of the country's main exports apart from coffee and tea. But with the ban on hunting in 1978 time was up for Zimmerman. The company closed shop and the German settler sold the land. It is now Zimmerman.